Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today, me and my friend want to describe about an interesting place to visit Now, I want to tell about Kudasang Sabah Kudasang Sabah was a little place in located in Manau district of Sabah, Borneo it is also close to the famous Mount Kinabalu National Park, just about six kilometers left away. The travelers around the world are attracted to this place because the gorgeous place. Since it is located on the lap of the Mount Kinabalu, the weather is nice at all the time. Some people also call it as the Scotland of the Borneo. The town is mostly filled with market with fresh vegetable. Apart of this, the place has a lot of other things for tourists to try out. Now I will share to you the place to Kudasam Sabah. You can visit Desa Dairy Farm. Da Dairy Farm can be reached by a short road trip to the outskirts of the town. This dairy farm is the one of the most visited tourist attraction in Kudasam. Imagine spending time with a nature along with the calm weather landscape. You can also have an awesome breakfast on this farm if you are visiting in the morning. Last but not least, escape from the hustle and the bustle of the city life by transporting your family and spending quality time in Kudasam. This is my improve your relationship among your family members. It must be an amazing pleasure to the vacation spot with your family. Kudasam is the also beautiful geographical place to visit or stay in, especially for individuals who enjoy the, the nation. The magnificent landscape of the Sabah will provide every tourist who visited in with in an uh, amazing experience and they will fall in love with it. Now, I will pass to Muhim. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum. Thank you, Wan. To continue our journey around Malaysia, I, Muhammad Muhibuddin, will bring you to one interesting place in Trengganu. La Hot Springs in Besut. La Hot Springs is located some distance from the town of Jete. You will need to travel for around an hour, but don't fret. The roads leading there are filled with natural flora and fauna, and it's a good break from the concrete jungle. Of course, the main attraction there is the famous natural hot springs. I myself have been there, and the experience was amazing. The first one or two minutes in the springs feels like you're boiling your own skin, but once you relax and calm down, you will feel like all your problems suddenly drift away. But if hot springs are not your thing, La also has beautiful waterfalls and rivers with crystal clear waters. And if you don't have a place to crash the night, they also have chalets available, but make sure to book prior because La is really popular among the locals and tourists, especially during holidays. The hot springs are open to everybody, and you will only need to pay around 3 ringgit each for access to the springs. But the chalets do cost around 150 ringgit per night. The rules there are pretty strict, such as you can have a picnic there, you can smoke there, and you cannot use soap in the springs. Doing any of these will get you kicked out from the springs, so be warned. That's all for Trenganu. Be sure to put La Hot Springs as a go-to place the next time you're coming to the East Coast. Now, let's move on to Rahman to continue our journey. Thanks, Muhim. Let's continue our journey around Malaysia. The place that I choose, or the state that I choose, is Para. Para is famous for its history and beaches. If you live around KL, the trip to Para is about two and a half hours. But if the traffic is congested, that will be a hell of a journey. Main attraction of Pera is Pulau Pangku. There are plenty of good accommodation options on Pangku Island, and these are my trusted recommendations. Number one, Nipah Guest House is a perfect choice, clean and super friendly. 
with charming a frame in Nivillas set around a long and thin swimming pool. You can check the prices on booking.com. Number two, Joe Fisherman Inn is another flashbacker option offering two stories of comfortable rooms stuck around an inner courtyard equipped with a long swimming pool. You can check prices on booking.com also. Notable places in Panko are the west coast of Panko. It's famous for its beaches, uh, resorts, and hotels for tourist accommodations. The famous beaches there include Pasiboga, Tulunipa, and Coral Beach. The east coast of Panko is where all the residents live and work in the local foods and fisheries activities, including the dry fish factory, boat workshops, and fish farm. That is all from Pera. Now I will pass to Zuhelmi to continue our journey around Malaysia. Thank you, Rahman, for sharing. In my turn, I will share about my state, Kedah. So, Kedah is located up north in Malaysia, close to the border of Thailand, and is considered the rice bowl of Malaysia, where half of the country's rice production originated from here. Besides its agricultural importance to Malaysia, it is also home to one of the most popular islands in Malaysia, Langkawi Island. If you are planning to travel to this state, here are the top three Kedah attractions that you should visit. The first one is Kedah Royal Museum. It is the former palace of the royal family of Kedah and was built in 1735. In this place, there are 2,000 artifacts documentation and also possessions of Sultan Abdul Halim who is a former Sultan of Kedah and his wife. If you've been wondering how the Sultan or King lives his life in Malaysia, I recommend you to start from here. The second is Latabayu. It is a famous waterfall spot in Kedah. Surrounded by greeneries, the sound of the water flowing, this is an excellent place to relax in your mind. This waterfall is a good place to bring your kids because the ponds here are not too deep. You can also have a picnic here with your beloved one. The third and the last is Langkawi Sky Bridge. It is 125 meters long and the height of it is 2300 feet above the sea level. It is considered amongst the longest curved pedestrian bridge in the world. So if you want to see the beauty of the island from a bird's eye view, this is the best place that you don't want to miss. That's all from me about three interesting places in my state. I do hope you will be visiting Kedah soon. Now I will pass to Najib to share about his state. Thank you, Zul. Now I'm going to present about Georgetown and Penang. The older parts of Malaysia's second largest city has been named a UNESCO World, World Heri Heritage Site. But Georgetown is, ju is just a as famous for its food as it is for its architecture. Known as the food capital of Malaysia, Georgetown offers some of the best street food in Asia. Best experience in place like Seafront Gurney Drive and Chulia Street, a popular backpackers destination and one of the oldest streets in the city. While Georgetown Sport and waterfront and waterfront area is a tour, tourist favorite. There's much more to see and do here. The city's tallest skyscraper is, is home to the U-shaped Rainbow Skywalk, an outdoor glass viewing platform set 68 floors up in the air. For, a le for the less nerve-wracking view, view of the city, take the, take the tram up to the top of Penang Hill. The cityscape is particularly beautiful at night. Less adventurous travelers might want to check out check out the the Batik Painting Museum Penang before they, they grab some Batik souvenirs from a local market or visit the colorful 19th 
Century Kek Lok Si Buddhist Temple.